Hello everybody, this is going to be another video. Uh, this is going to be a shorter video, because today we just got the announcement of uh, the brand new Pokemon game, or Pokemon games, uh, Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. They did a little mini direct thing, a Pokemon Direct, um, this morning while I was at school, so I couldn't record any reactions or anything, but there wasn't meant much reaction to begin with. There was a pretty simple trailer just showing off what the game is, if it was going to be some crazy change for Pokemon, or if it was just going to be pretty standard Pokemon, which it is, which is, then again, never a bad thing, but uh, it certainly does look good, and uh, there's a lot that I want to talk about. Uh, so, uh, I have it up here, uh, just because I don't feel like doing any crazy editing today, because I just want to get this video out there, my thoughts out there, and then leave it at that. Um, first off, this establishing shot is so nice looking. Oh, let me, yeah, get it zoomed in a little bit. Um, I don't know why, but the colors here are so appealing. Um, the Let's Go was very standard with um, how it looked. It looked like a very standard Pokemon experience, which it was. It was the f it was a remake of the first game. Um, this definitely looks more interesting, more appealing to me at least. Uh, if we speed up a little bit more, we get this shot, which I think is outside of the first gym. Um, again, another interesting looking place. Some like fieldish looking stuff. Um, again, it just looks pretty. The colors are really nice. Um, this house. This house looks so good. Everything about this looks like. Like the setting itself it doesn't look like anything we've seen really in. Um, other Pokemon games, which it isn't, because it's in, like, England now or something, or, like, Europe in general, I guess. Um, but yeah, this shot's cool, you got a lot of greenery. Um, first shot of the male protagonist, let me find a good frame. Um, there we go. Yeah, he looks not that great. If you back up a little bit more, um, I think, yeah, you can see. He's got a, got a bit of a peanut head going on in the back. I don't know what that's about. But it is saved by... Um, I think they have, yeah, they have this good shot of her. Uh, the female trainer, who, as per usual, looks good. Um, pretty much in every Pokemon game, they always make the female trainer look way better than the male one. Um, so that's cool. Also, we get another cool shot of right outside your house, which again... Just looks so nice. I don't know. Something about this just seems so appealing to me. Like the European England countryside. Just it looks nice. It looks so so serene and peaceful. Um, let's be a little bit more. Uh, we also get some industrial. Uh, we get to see the industrial side of England, which is cool. You see a train. Uh, some big towers. It looks pretty neat. Um, on, go back a little bit. We can see more of that industrial area along with where is it? yeah the snow area which is pretty yeah, pretty standard for Pokemon games they usually have like a snow area maybe a desert area or um, the likes I guess um, but they, they vary it up um, we see that random encounters are back now which is kind of a letdown I feel like Pokemon Let's Go with having the Pokemon actually in the area was really cool um, but yeah, you know, random encounters, I know a lot of other people are more bothered by it than me, uh, but yeah, me personally, would have liked to see the Pokemon in the world, but this is whatever, maybe in the new game. Uh, then the first crazy confirmation of the day, Pikachu is coming back, thank god. We weren't sure after the recent legal scandal, but, um, yeah, he will be returning. Um, also, if they... Oh yeah, that's a cute Pokemon. Uh, if you just look at the background, ah, the battle background looks so nice. Um, the environment for this game just looks amazing. I've said it a million times already, and the video is only like five minutes in so far. Um, get a better look at some of the trainers. Um, again, they look pretty good. Um, this is something that I really like. The trainers aren't like chibi anymore. If you saw in Let's Go, they were pretty. They looked like eight-year-olds almost. They're like young children and now they look more teen-ish i guess um around the age of like 
12, 13-ish to like uh, probably 15. So that's cool. I like the slightly older looking protagonist, but maybe that's just because I'm a slightly older person um, than what this game's demographic is. I mean, the old Pokemon game's demographic, sorry. Um, and then we just get a bunch of gameplay. Um, we see here in like a house. Um, oh yeah, there's a cool, yeah, this place. Got like a snow town, which is really neat. Um, I'm gonna go back a little bit. Oh wait, yeah. Uh, I think the next thing is this, this like cave system, which looks really cool. Got a bunch of bright, colorful lights. I like that. Um, more snow town, some other random place. Um, and then this shot, which was really confusing me for a while. Uh, you have the main character going into like a stadium and it kind of looks like he's about to go play soccer or something, which is really interesting. Um, this could just be the championship, like the, uh, what do you call it? The like Elite Four you're entering to battle or whatever. Um, I'm not really sure though, it looks interesting. This shot kind of threw me off, I thought they were about to show off like a soccer minigame or something. Um, but that's pretty much it for the gameplay trailer. Then we gotta look at the new starters. I can scrub ahead to the main focuses. Um, first off, we see Score Bunny, who is a fire bunny. Uh, he looks pretty neat. He's probably gonna be the starter I'm gonna pick. Uh, although I know everyone is Team Sabo right now. Uh, but yeah, he looks cool. I like his little bandage nose thing and uh, his color scheme looks nice. He just has like really appealing character design uh so that's cool then we see oh, let me get a better look one that's not blurry sobble who is the water type this time and he is like the shy tadpole pokemon um his design's also really nice but i don't know i don't know if i'd really want him or not it really depends on like the evolution i guess because i also didn't like uh Froakie in Pokemon X and Y, but then he turned into Greninja, and Greninja was rad as hell. So, I don't know, I'll wait and see. Um, I can definitely tell that, uh, who is it? Score Bunny. It's probably gonna turn into some weird furry shit, like Incineroar. <laughs> um, and then the last one was Grookey, who is this monkey, uh, grass Pokemon. And, to be honest, he was the least appealing to me. I didn't really like the way he looked or any of his character traits. They didn't seem that interesting. Um, but he's still kind of cool, I guess. I could see why people like him. Although, according to Twitter, and from what I've seen, the general reaction is basically, like, there are a lot of people who like Score Bunny and a lot of people who like, um, Sable? Or, what was his name? God, it's, it's gonna be hard to- Sable. I just said Sapple, excuse me. Um, it's gonna be hard getting used to these new names. Um, it seems like Score Bunny and Sobble are like competing with um, popularity, and the Grookey's kind of in the corner. Um, but I, you know, people do like him. Um, this is, I remember X and Y and um, Sun and Moon, people really were divisive about those starters and were like, this is the only good one, all the other ones are trash, this and that. Um, but the reaction to this seems really good. Um, people aren't too mad about anything. And then we got the names Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield, which is weird. Not gonna lie, it's pretty weird to me that they would go with uh, Pokemon Sword and Shield. Because that's just... I'm pretty sure that's like some sort of like deviant art fan name for like a made-up Pokemon game or like a fake leak or something. Like, uh... I don't know, it just sounds so, so made up, so fan-ish, like, it, it sounds like something a fan would be like, you'll be cool if they made a medieval Pokemon game, and they called it Pokemon Sword and Shield, um, and, uh, you know, the, sooner, sooner or later, we're gonna get a Pokemon gun, which is gonna be hype, <laughs> um, but yeah, there isn't too much to say about this, oh, wait, there's also the direct over here, which they basically just mentioned that they, they're um, taking strides to make the game cool and good, which I'd assume. <laughs> um, and they're, I think they said that they're doing some different stuff with it. 
Um, actually, let me pick up, pull up the map because I want to talk about that briefly. Was it the gallery region? Yeah, the gallery region. Um, but yeah, it is based off of like England, which is super neat. Uh, here we go, full map. Or is that the full map? I don't know which one. I was gonna use this one. Um, there we go. So you start off in like that town down there, I guess, and then you just move your way up with the uh, mountains, a lake area. Uh, this looks like the industrial area that we saw. Uh, some side area over here. Uh, some more just regular greenery looking stuff. Then you get to what looks like some. This could be the Elite Four place. That looks crazy. Um, some ancient ruins off to the side. And then on the other side, you get kind of an entrance into the snowway place. And then this gigantic city, which might have been that snow city that we saw for a brief second. Um, yeah, it looks pretty interesting. There's a lot of varied... I mean, this chunk of the map looks pretty standard and green, but I'm sure there's variation within that. Um, yeah, I'm just excited. It's a new Pokemon game. There isn't much to say about it um, just yet, but I'm excited. And the rumor is, or like the general consensus is that it's probably going to come out in November, which if it does, that would be absolutely fantastic, because I just feel like that'd be a really good time for this game, um, with the way the setting is, um, it'd be something I would absolutely love to play in November, um, and yeah, I'm really excited. I didn't play Let's Go, and it feels like it's been a while since I've gotten, like, a Pokemon fix, so, because I also missed out on Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, so it's been it's been a little bit of time um, since I jumped into a new Pokemon game. So I'm I'm pretty hyped. Uh, let me know what you guys thought of the new stuff. Uh, are you Team Score Bunny, Sobble, uh, Grookey, whatever? <laughs> um, if you're gonna get Sword or Shield, um, if you like the new designs, if you hate them, if you like the setting trainers, the um, things that are going on with the gameplay, uh, let us talk all about it in the comments. Uh, but yeah, I just want to give my general thoughts on this. It seems pretty cool and good, and I'm excited for E3, so we can hopefully hear more about this. Um, but anyways, that's going to do it for this video. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, click the button. Subscribe if you want to see more videos like this, and I'll see you all later. Peace.